And so here's another principle. Matter matters. It's philosophical and theological. Stuff matters. Um, the fact, you notice, a lot of us are wearing strange outfits up here. They say something about who we are. My guess is that um, you're all dressed to the nines. You look beautiful. You wear this today, but when you go to bed, you probably don't wear these things. So your clothes say something about who you are. And you would wear something different to work out than you would to come here. So matter matters. Well, that's true in all sorts of things. In our faith, when, when we celebrate um, big moments, when God enters in, we call these things sacraments. So in when we, someone comes into the church when they're baptized, we don't just say, you're in. We actually pour water on their head. And then we say... I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So we say words that are important, and then we throw water on them, and that's important too. And this takes place in a lot of things. In confirmation, sealed with oil. In Eucharist, uh, we, 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 we um, actually take bread and wine, and that becomes something new. So God communicates to us through stuff. In marriage, we have an icon of Christ and his church, and a man and woman coming together in love. Holy orders, priest is an icon of the church of Jesus the high priest. Reconciliation. It's incarnational. You talk to another person who stands in the place of Jesus there, who stands as him, really. Anointing of the sick, you go out and you meet someone and you touch them there. Even last night we celebrated the, the um, feast of St. Blaise in our tradition. And so St. Blaise was a saint. A kid was choking one day on a, on, a, uh, on a fish bone and he saved him from it. And so he became the patron saint. He was also a martyr, patron saint of throat diseases. So he blessed people with candles on that day. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, 